I want to talk about protecting our data. There is so much out there now. I feel like to even go to a website, I have to put all this information in before I can even look at clothes or, or whatever it is that I'm browsing that day. So exactly. how do we protect ourselves? Just keep it simple. So the first is make sure that you have strong passwords. So we like to say have a passphrase or a pass sentence. And because of that, it really makes it unique. So like, let's say for example, you know, I'm on NBC six today, 10, three, like that is a great long password that you could use for one of your, for one of your <laughs> logins. Not going to use that one. But <laughs> Definitely not that now that it's out there. there. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a good it's a good way to incorporate numbers, letters, and something that you're, it's unique to you. The next thing is to have um, your software updates automatic. So a lot of people think that oh you know I might wait to see what happens with the software. Yes, don't. that's that's what comes into my mind. I don't want to lose all my photos and contacts this time yes, around. I totally understand, but that's not the case. Okay. All these software updates are so important. They they fix vulnerabilities in the app. So if you're waiting, that means that hackers or scammers can actually exploit or take advantage of that vulnerability and if your app is not updated they can easily get in and get get more information interesting okay yeah and then this the third thing I mean there's so many but we don't have that much time but yes. the, thir the third main thing is to make sure that you are using multi-factor authentication which means that you're signing in two different ways. So a lot of us have a username and password, right? Yes. There's now abilities to add, you know, a, a text to your phone or an authenticator app. We strongly suggest using an authenticator app since there's so much SIM swapping now. So